welcome back I know it's been a minute a few minutes quite a few minutes <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and put some makeup on today so I figured why not film it okay so yeah I went ahead and just kind of showed everything that I'm going to be using on my face in the beginning of the video so you'll know what I am working with over here when I tell you that I have not really been wearing makeup. I have not been wearing makeup. So when I come in my beauty space now, it's kind of like, I don't even know. I'm just going to go in with this Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer. But it's like, because I have so many palettes and items to choose from, sometimes I get overwhelmed when I come in here and I'm just like, I don't even know what palette to use. But... You know, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. So, yeah, I'm just moisturizing with this glow recipe. This stuff is really nice. I like it. It's very light, not heavy at all. It feels kind of like, you know, uh, water based um, moisturizer, you know, so nothing heavy, nothing greasy. It smells nice. Um, light hint of watermelon. And I like it a lot. It definitely adds a nice nice boost of hydration to my skin before I apply my makeup. So we're just going to go in with that first. I don't know if I'm really going to talk a lot about <laughs> the makeup that I am applying. Um, just because I just want to put some on and just kind of chill. But I figured I'd talk to you guys a little bit while I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm going to go in... Um, this is how my brows are looking, you know, um, after I got them microbladed and I have to say, I'm still loving them. <laughs> I'm still loving them. I have no complaints. Um, I mean, I'm in Riverside, California. So, you know, if you are in this area or in Southern California and you're looking for someone to do your brows, um, I would definitely recommend her she's great very professional um and i like them a lot so yeah anyway i'm gonna go ahead and clean these up right quick and then we'll start to put on some eyeshadow uh, i did go ahead and pick this vanity makeup palette i didn't really want to do anything super colorful today I'm trying to um get hubby to take me out <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like I don't wear colorful eyeshadow out because I do all the time, but I wanted to do something kind of smoky. So I figured I'd go ahead and try this palette out, see how I like it because I can do something smoky and put a little, you know, shadazzle on the lid. So let me clean up my eyebrows. I'll come back and then we'll start on these lids. So I really am just using my Wet n Wild concealer to clean up the lower part of my brows. I don't even, you know, fill anything in anymore. I just kind of clean it up to make it a little bit neater for the eyeshadow application. I think what I'm actually going to do is just use some of this as my base as well today. So I'm just going to apply some of this to my lid and use one of my cute little sponges just to kind of prep my lid a bit for this shadow. Since I'm not doing anything super bright or colorful, this will work just fine for this kind of neutral smoky eye, you know? I had to turn my fan a little bit because it's a little bit warm. Um, but okay, so we have our lids prepped. Let's go ahead and jump into this shadow. I need to get my eyeshadow brushes. And, okay, so let's see here. This shadow, this 
palette is so pretty to me it's so gorgeous i think i'm gonna start with this shade here just as like you know my crease little crease color and i'm basically just kind of tapping it down um i kind of do that when i'm trying to get a feel for a shadow to see you know the placement the texture the pigmentation this actually feels like a very very nice <laughs> a very very nice formula okay very nice so i'm just going to apply that in my crease and blend it up towards my brow bone okay so that looks like a really nice transition shade i'm going to go into this shade here very very gorgeous it's kind of like a corally type shade Ooh, a lot of pigmentation coming on the brush so what have you guys been up to i know it's been a minute especially since i've done like a makeup video i've been more focused on vlogs and i haven't even vlogged really a lot lately or should i say at all um i've just been kind of trying to focus on myself um trying to stay mentally okay if that makes any sense you know and just sometimes i don't feel like picking up the camera even though i do want to share certain parts of my life sometimes i just don't feel like picking up a camera or don't really feel like talking much so it's kind of hard when you're <laughs> trying to vlog because you know you need to feel like talking and filming so yeah it's just kind of been kind of off for me but I have missed you guys I have missed um, you know showing up on here and because I do feel like you know you guys are my friends you're my family we communicate we talk back and forth in the comments and you know I just kind of like to share parts of my life with you guys so I do miss doing that so hopefully you guys have been doing well doing okay um hopefully you've been blessed and you know things are going all right so but yeah just kind of focusing on taking care of myself um have i been doing well with my diet no <laughs> no uh ain't nobody about to be up in here fronting and faking the funk no have not been doing well on my diet have not been doing well with my exercising but every new day that you wake up is a new day to try right so I never give up I always just kind of try to tell myself to get it together so I'll get it together one of these days focusing a lot more on just mental health and peace <laughs> you know just like stability you know really so that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now, my mental health, quite honestly. Okay, so that's a pretty color. Very, very nice. We're just going darker and darker and darker. So now I'm going to go into this brown and then I'm going to hit the corner with that black. And then we're going to pick one of these beautiful shimmers to highlight on the lid. So let's deepen this up just a little bit with this darker brown. Very easy, simple uh strategy really when it comes to you know applying eyeshadow but it comes out really really nice if you just take your time and do it correctly um you guys know i love super colorful looks but i don't know lately i just haven't really been into the super bright bright colorful looks maybe it's just because i'm <laughs> You know getting older or you know my personality is kind of toning down a bit but i still love the super colorful eye you know eyeshadow looks i just don't always feel like doing them like i used to like back in the day that was all i wanted to do it was like if there's color honey i need it give it to me let me use it <laughs> let me create with it because I really do see um, eyeshadow is just a medium for me to use to create art, like honestly, because 
I don't wear makeup every day, like just to leave the house and be out and about with makeup on. That's really not my personality. So when I do sit down to apply makeup, it's more like I'm, you know, taking the opportunity to be creative, <laughs> to be artistic, to, you know, showcase something, you know? I want my eyes to say, wow, you know, when I sit down and take the time to put on some eyeshadow, especially if I'm gonna take like an hour or more to do it, yeah, <laughs> you know? And that make a better say something, okay? So just the vibe that I'm getting from this palette is definitely very everyday, very easy to use, very blendable. Well, heck, for the price, it better be, right? Because this palette, is not cheap at all um, and you know originally I wasn't gonna buy it because it really just kind of gave me Tati vibes you know the Tati volume one or volume only at this point <laughs> it really kind of gave me that vibe just like a smaller Tati palette but I wanted to check out this formula and so far it is very very nice very easy to blend, very smooth is going on beautifully. So no complaints so far. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of that kind of orangey coral shade just to see if I can get it to pop just a little bit more on the outer portion of this look. So now let's go ahead and jump into this black. You know, with black, you got to be careful if you're not familiar with how pigmented it is. So, okay, so it's not like super duper crazy. It's like one that I can, you know, you can work with and blend out nicely. So that's good. Because some blacks you go into, which is really nice when they're super duper pigmented, if you want it to be really, really dark, you go into that mug and you place it on your eye and it's like, oh. <laughs> you know like okay that was a little bit too much so this one I'm just gonna try to you know deepen the crease a bit but mainly keep it on the outer portion go back into that brown and blend it out I had to adjust my lighting a little bit because sometimes when my lighting if I have too much light from the side or too much from the front, I can't tell. Y'all know I can barely see, <laughs> but I can't tell, um, you know, if they are even or matching, if my blend is right, but this gonna have to be good enough for now, okay? So, now I want to test out some of these gorgeous shimmers in here. Um, we have like this pretty light champagne type shade. We have this kind of, what do you call that like mm, like an asphalt type shade kind of like a, a coppery gold type shade and brown so anyways really really pretty shimmers in here let me do quick little swatches of these shimmers Ooh, those are really really gorgeous I think I'm gonna go in with this really really pretty shade right here Oh, gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it because I don't know about the fallout factor with these shimmers. Um, they don't look like they'll have a lot of fallout, but I just want to see. Oh, that's pretty. And it's applying nicely with the brush. I could probably go in with my finger and like really top it off nicely, but oh, that's pretty. Oh, she pretty. Whenever I do these kind of eye looks, I feel like you guys are probably like so bored. <laughs> bored watching me do this because it's, you know, it really is a very simple, easy eye look to do. Um, but I know everybody doesn't like all the super bright blues and greens and stuff. So, you know, I do kind of like to share 
you know, a nice, easy, breezy look sometime. I think I'm going to really smoke out this outer corner a little bit more just to add a little more drama to this look. Try to get as much bang out of this palette as I can. <laughs> That's one thing about me though is even when I am using like a more kind of quote unquote everyday palette that's not colorful, I still try to get as, mo as much bang as I can out of that palette. I use as much black as I can, as much brown as I can, as much of whatever color is in there as I can. So that's why I'm like really going in with this black, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of that sienna. Okay, so let's clean her up, add some lashes and liner, move on to the face. So for lashes, I'm going in with the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. I'm gonna go in with these, want something a little dramatic, you know, to help this um, everyday eye look out. <laughs> help it fit my personality a little bit more. So, we'll see how these look. Okay, you guys, so I finally got these lashes on. Really, really big, really, really pretty. Um, but they glued these mugs to the little holder a little bit too aggressively because I'm taking it off the holder and it's holding so tight that it's like leaving lashes on here. Ugh, ciao. So if y'all see some spaces, I think it was this one. <laughs> this one that kind of got towed up a little bit. It ain't my fault, okay? They glued this stuff down with some super glue or something. So, let's move on to this face, okay? Yeah, I'm liking these lashes. They're really, really pretty. Um, Let me get this stuff over here. So, we're going to start with a primer. I'm going to be using this Butter Beauty Bakery Butter Primer. I was really surprised because um, looking at it, the first time I used it, I was like, oh, that's going to be kind of like... Um, I thought it was going to be like silky and kind of creamy, which it is creamy, you know, applying it, as you can see, it applies really easily, but it dries down like matte. Okay. The finish is more of a matte type finish than, um, you know, like creamy or moisturizing. Yeah. It's more like a drier matte type finish once you kind of rub it in when it's all said and done. And I absolutely love that, okay? Love, love, love that. I have this giant bump right here that has a, like a scar on it. So, waiting for that to go away. It's so rare when I get like a big pimple or anything on my face till it's like really annoying. You know, I get <clears throat> like smaller bumps and breakouts and stuff, but I know when I get like one really big one, it's either like from stress, eating bad, you know, your cycles coming or something like that. So anyway, but yeah, I really, really like this primer so far. I've only used it. This might be like my third time using it, but I like it because it's not what I thought it was going to be, which was kind of like keeping me from purchasing it. I'm glad I went ahead and tried it. So yeah, I like it. Okay, so let me go ahead and handle these dark circles under my eyes. So if you guys are familiar with how I get down, you already know I go in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer to handle my dark circles because this is like the only concealer that I have found that just works really well for my dark circles so I stock up on it and I use it quite a bit <laughs> and then I just kind of go in around it with my foundation today I'm using my Catrice true skin foundation um, I really like this stuff this stuff is really good So I'm just going in with a damp sponge to apply this Catrice foundation. 
blending in that concealer at the same time. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Uma Beauty Woke Concealer, um, just for a little bit of brightening. Honestly, it's like, nowadays sometimes I don't even really bother or feel a need to bother with, um, you know, the brightening concealer, but It does help to add a little bit of dimension to my face. Um, you know, especially when you have a really good foundation going on. That little bit of brightening under the eyes just kind of livens you up. Makes you not look so flat. Okay, so let's add some powder. Going in with my Prime Beauty powder. I have not done a shot mustache in is this the prime yeah prime beauty i have not done a shot my stash in so long and honestly it is because i really have not been wearing makeup um so it's kind of like shot my stash why because <laughs> i'm not using you know really using makeup right now but um i think i am going to do a shot mustache pretty soon just so I can pull some new stuff because I've been using this Prime Beauty loose setting powder under my eyes and you know in my concealed areas for a very long time which is not a problem because I love it it is actually quite bomb it is a really really good loose setting powder I don't know if they have um pressed powders or whatever but this loose one very nice but like I was saying I do kind of feel like I want to switch out my products because I've been using this KVD <laughs> this pressed powder um, for a very long time and quite honestly I don't want to quit using it because it is so good but yeah I did order a couple of those powder foundations from e.l.f. So let's just hope and pray I ordered the right, you know, shades or some shades that work for me because I don't really wear e.l.f. foundation. I really um, enjoy their camo foundation, if I'm remembering correctly. Is it the CC cream or I don't know, but... Um, I think it's the CC, the camo, I don't know, child. But I really enjoy that from what I remember. And that's really the only foundation type product from e.l.f. that I have to go by as far as shades go. And I don't think that they had, you know, the powder foundations in like the same shade names or whatever, which... It's kind of annoying. I like when brands do that, when they name the powder foundations the same as the liquid foundation, so you can at least have an idea of where to start when it comes to picking it out online. Cause child, I don't, I try my hardest not to go in the store if I don't have to, you know? So yeah, I really appreciate when they have the same names for the powder foundation as the liquid, but can't win them all I guess okay I'm going in with my minted bronzer today this one is yacht life I really, really like this bronzer, you guys. If you're looking for a really good bronzer and, you know, you're around my skin tone, this one is really nice. Not too harsh, not too red. It just really bronzes you up nicely. So this is the Minted Bronzer in Yacht Life. Your girl likes it, okay? Okay, so let's get some blush on these cheeks. I'm using my 
Rouge Romance from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Okay. Not sure what shade. I think I should use this one. I mean, yeah, I think this is probably going to go the best. Even though I have like that burnt sienna, that black kind of deepened it up a little bit. So it's not like super orange. So I'm going to go with this shade today. Girl, I am just blush-tastic over here. And you know what? I'm not mad at it. Sometimes I don't mind a really, really nice rosy cheek, okay? I am not mad at it. This blush palette, very, very nice, you guys. Very, very nice. Nicely pigmented, but it doesn't look like, you know, super clownish. But you can really, really see the color. I love it. Highlight. <laughs> so I chose this glodient makeup palette touch and soul touch and soul so i'm gonna go ahead and stay over in this darker area over here to highlight hit those high points that's my favorite part, is the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Favorite part, that's when you let somebody know, yeah, your girl's wearing highlight. Okay, get into it. Do I wanna put some on my brow bone? I don't even highlight my brow bone anymore. I haven't done that in so long. Now nah, I ain't in the mood for that. Okay, you guys, so let's finish up these eyes and then we can go ahead and hit these lips. So I'm just going in with a black eyeliner pencil from Beauty Creations just to kind of keep it nice and dark and smoky. So y'all, I did break my no buy a little bit because I made the mistake of going on Instagram. I actually posted a look that I did with the latest Nomad Cosmetics palette. Ah, beautiful palette, okay? If you want to check out that look, it's on my Instagram but yeah so i made the mistake of kind of hanging around i'm going into the black eyeshadow on instagram and i saw that glam light uh launched like a valentine's hershey kiss collection with the cute little palette shaped like hershey kisses and they had like you know of course the warm chocolate toned palettes um but they also had, I think, like a blue one and a purple one. Like, I need another blue or purple tone palette. Do not. But the cute little Hershey Kiss shape, uh, I fell for it. I fell for it. I could have just been in the mood to buy something. Who knows? Y'all know how it go. So, I did order those when they come. Um, I'll probably test one of those out. But... Yeah, it's like since I haven't really been up on the latest hot new makeup releases and I kind of been on my no buy, I haven't really had any like new um, makeup or eyeshadow palettes or anything like that to really share. Because um, the ones that I did pick up, you know, after the holidays or before the holidays, I should say, because Lord knows I didn't do really any shopping after the holidays, but before the holidays, um, the ones that I grabbed, you know, in this uh, industry are like old news at this point, even though there are some really amazing, beautiful palettes um, that I will use in the future. It's not anything, you know, that you guys probably care about at this point, but uh, yeah, so. I'm waiting for those to come. Like I said, I did order some of the e.l.f. Uh, oh, I like that smokiness. I did order some of the e.l.f. Uh, new powder foundations. I really can't wait to get those because I'm really, really interested to see how those are because of the fact that e.l.f. is so freaking affordable. And a lot of these powder foundations, you know, the really good ones can be a bit pricey. So it, it would be nice if e.l.f. came out with a really, really good powder foundation, you know. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get this inner pop, inner corner pop going so we can move on to these lips and I can try and get my uh, husband to take me out or something. Give me some scrimps and lobsters or something, okay? <laughs> uh, I better spray this, okay? So I'm just going in, smaller type brush. I don't know if this particular shimmer is going to be light enough. I might have to go a little bit lighter, but let's see. The hair everywhere today. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. I don't know if it's gonna show on camera the way it's looking to me. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh yeah, it's definitely bright enough for sure. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh. Try to blend it into the top a little bit without destroying my lashes. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Let me just drag this just a little bit. Blend it in. Because I don't like it to always be so abrupt right there with that black. So let me blend that a little bit. Ooh. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, yeah, she's definitely bright enough. So just first impressions on this palette, I would have to say it's a really, really, really nice palette. The shadows are gorgeous. They blend nicely. Um, the black, as you can see, is very nicely pigmented. All the shades are beautiful. So yeah, if you like this type of color story and you know, you're in the market for an expensive palette. <laughs> Go ahead and knock yourself out, child, because this palette is gorgeous. I would say, yeah, it's probably worth the money. It is. Not to say, you know, there's not any affordable palettes, of course, that I could have created this exact same eye look with, and it would have looked just as gorgeous, but, um, you know, it's not to take away from the quality of this palette. This palette, very, very nice. Okay, need a little mascara on these lower lashes. On these baby shark lashes. Okay, so. Baby shark, do, 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 do. <laughs> baby shark, do, 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 do. It's like you can put on anything with this. You can put on jeans and a tank top and some Timberland boots or something and look super cute. You could put on a fancy dramatic dress and look beautiful. It's just, you know, it's timeless, it's classic. You can wear this eye look with pretty much anything. So, yeah. Okay, let's get these lips together. I'm not sure if I wanna go in with light or dark. I'm thinking I kinda wanna go nude because my eyes are you know so smoky so yeah let's just do brown lip liner nude lip today i love a dark brown lip liner <laughs> i could just wear this dark brown lip liner every day and this is just like a peachy nude gloss yeah, this is from LA Colors. I'm sure I got this from the um, Beauty Supply for like a couple dollars. But it does the trick. Nice and shiny. Little Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <laughs> I ain't got no sense. So this is the look, you guys, from this Vanity Makeup Palette. I love it. I have no complaints for this first impression. No complaints at all. I am loving this palette. <laughs> very, very nice palette. Everything else um, is pretty much stuff that I'm really, really enjoying, really, really like at this point for complexion. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Hopefully you had a good time hanging out with me. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging in there with me, even though I've been very inconsistent. I'm trying, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? So yeah, hopefully you like it and I will see you on the next one.
Toodles.